A few tips from my team on what to do when meeting people for the first time. Don't arrive late. It's nothing more in, in, irritating than meeting somebody for the first time, whether it's an interview or a business meeting, and they've arrived late. There is no excuse. Research your journey beforehand. If it's a local journey, do it. Go, go and find out how long it takes to get there before you actually get to that meeting. If you've met uh, someone before, um, or you're going back for a second interview, it's important to remember the name of the person that you met the first time round. Equally, it's important that when you attend that interview to have the name of the person that you're actually meeting. Now, you might be sitting there thinking, actually, that is staggeringly obvious, but you wouldn't believe it, but we actually had people who'd gone through the first interview process, came back, we said, who did, who did you see the first time? They couldn't remember. Strangely, those people don't work for us today. Dressing. Right, I want to give you a lesson on how to dress yourselves, um, but again, it's very simple. Um, what it's about is first impressions, and actually the important thing is to create the right first impression. Look, don't go in there and try and be all individual, because it won't get you anywhere. The individual within you will come out through the interview process. So if you're a guy, wear a suit, a shirt and a tie. And if you're going to go to the trouble of putting a tie on, please don't have it somewhere around your midriff. Do it up. Girls, slightly different. I might have to get somebody else in to describe that one, but from my point of view, it's again, it's a skirt, a blouse, and a jacket, or a dress, okay? In terms of uh, meeting people for the first time, again, fairly obvious stuff, firm handshake. There's nothing more irritating than that sort of limp, wet, where you only just get the ends of the fingers. It's, it says a lot about you, so really practice shaking hands with one another, it works. Steady eye contact. Again, it's important when you're engaging with someone, this guy's doing really well here at the front, you're engaging with them, look them in the eye, okay? Somebody who doesn't look you in the eye, it says a lot about you. Keep the jewellery to a minimum and get a smart haircut. It's, again, all really simple stuff. And the one that probably has irritated us the most uh, this autumn going through the recruitment process is the number of people that turned up with the summer's festival bangles all attached to their wrists along with bits of problem <coughs> string and God knows whatever else. Just lose it. You don't need it. And finally, one that irritates me the most and I don't know where it came from, I blame it on American TV, is excessive use of the word like. Don't know where it came from, but please keep it to a minimum. And that's all from me, other than to wish you all the best of luck. We will stay with this programme all the way through, and I'm sure at any point we can all give you um, the help and the advice you need around any interview process. But thank you very much. <coughs>